So, what is experience strategy? Well, really, it's an extreme focus on select touch points. And when we talk about this, we're not talking about having to have an extreme focus on every set of sort of touch points, and we're not defining touch points merely as we define them when we talk about media. So we talk about like, you know, a radio touch point or a broadcast touch point. We're talking about all the variety of ways that a brand lives in the world. And if you're going to extremely focus on them, you can't extremely focus on all of them. So you have to pick and choose the right ones that make sense for that particular brand. So some examples might be a brand might focus on product design and community building, or they might focus on value and doing good, or retail design and top shelf customer service, or um, innovation and local appeal, or customization and nostalgic. I mean, there's you can go on and on, there's lots of different options, but you find the right ones for your brand and then you really figure out how to build an experience around it. And the, the iconography of the Tiffany's box is really pretty classic. That's a, that's a classic experience that's around this notion of the meaningful gift. And there, there's such iconography built around that color, that's the Tiffany's color, and you see that box and you don't just think there's a box, you think about that entire Tiffany's branded experience that sets behind that box. And so really, that's what experience strategy does. If it's done correctly, then over time you see these cues and you just, this entire flood of experience comes to you. So what's the result of a focus on experience strategy? Well, a superior, meaningful, hard to duplicate offering. And really, Apple is absolutely tremendous at, at that. And, and I think you, we all remember how much anticipation and joy there was when the iPad first came out and here's a guy who the day it was launched he has his and these and pictures of people who had found their first ones were you know circulated online so when we talk about writing an experience brief or defining experience strategy it's really not very different than the process that we go through when we write a creative brief at the end of the day the goal is to distill all these things down to a real workable platform um, and there's a, there's a great book, Subject to Change, that talks about kind of experience strategy and product innovation. Um, but two really nice examples of experience vision are on this page. The first is from Eastman Kodak. It's over 100 years old. But their vision for their experience with their product was you press the button, we do the rest. So if I'm a product designer and I get that brief, well, I know that I have to design a camera that's really intuitive, and I have, to, I have to define a way so that getting the film out is really easy, that everything is very almost seamless. And then if you think about it, you think, okay, so that's what the product designer does with that. Well, what if I'm the person who is designing the interiors for corporate headquarters? Well, I want to make wayfinding really easy because everything that we're about is you just do the one thing, but we're going to do all the rest. So we want to make it easy for you to find your way through a corporate headquarters. We want to make, have people who work here who are very solicitous. This is all about ease and seamless functionality, and that moves beyond the product. It would speak to, to packaging. You know how packaging these days is all, you have to like get scissors and knives and chop into it. It's horrid. But if, that were, if you were doing packaging around that brief, you'd want packaging that was really easy to open up. So that's a way where if you have the platform set, then you can expand it across those different touch points that you decide you want to focus on. And Apple's iPod, again, it's just a beautiful um, experience vision for the product. All your music, at any time, anywhere. And they certainly are working hard to deliver on that. And they deliver on it in a beautiful, beautiful, iconic way. Really, we're talking about it's coordinating touch points like you mean it. Can't do it half-heartedly once you decide what it is you want the experience to be. You have to really go for it. And an example of really going for it actually is from the 60s. And Jen found this um, from is a, is a great um, film, if you haven't already seen it, called Art and Copy. And this is um, one of the cases within it. But they controlled all the important touch points, and they put so much thought into it. And you can just feel the passion for building this experience. And it all started from that insight that had been tossed into the trash barrel a couple times a day about it being the most beautiful way to fly. And think about that. If you got a brief, and you had all the touch points, and you said, OK, 
build a brand with this. Imagine how your imaginations could go. And then the fun is corralling it in and figuring out, okay, what are the important ones? That's experience strategy. And it's fun. 